everyone and welcome to our daily mana. All of us wants to be secured. And today, many of us avail insurance in our house, our car, our health, and even in untimely death. We all want to be secured in many ways. For some of us, we have to save for our retirement. There are some who are afraid to put money in banks because of the fear of being bankrupt or being scammed. And because of this, we find it difficult to be secured. Also, in our personal lives, there are times that we allow not so healthy relationship due to problems, especially when there are times that we are not so sure of what will happen in the future. That is why fear dominates our lives when we do not put our security in God. And at times, that is what causes depression among people. And when we start to worry because of this, it also causes stress. When we start to concentrate on the Word instead of focusing on God, we start to be troubled. But God offers security to all of us. In John chapter 16, verse 33, the word of the Lord says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this word, you will have troubled. But take heart, I have overcome the word. Where do we place our security? Is it in God or in the word? Dear Lord, we stand in front of you offering our humility with our praise and worship for your glory and honor. You are worthy of the highest praise, our Lord, King of Kings, and our Father. Thank you, Lord, for your marvelous word of comfort and peace. I pray that in every trial and tribulation that we're going to face, our heart and mind will continually rest in Jesus, in His peace and security in moments of hardship for your glory and honor. Thank you, Lord, because I don't have to fear or be threatened with any trouble that may confront me in this life because I know that yours is the victory and I am confident that victory belongs to my Savior in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. How about you? Where does your security rest? And where do you find your peace? If you're going to put your security in material things of this world, then it will be a shaky kind of security. Because things of this world will not last. Jesus is the only person that grants us eternal security. Just like the song, My Life is in Your Hands says, My life is in your hands. My heart is in your keeping. I'm never without hope. Not when my future is with you. My life is in your hands. And though I may not see clearly, I will lift my voice and sing, because your love does amazing things. Lord, I know my life is in your hands. That is our assurance of security and peace that only God can give. Let us be secured in Him. Let us remember that security that we can only find in Jesus alone and no one else. God bless you.